Hi friends, welcome to class. Today is Wednesday, so that means vinyasa flow style class. So we're going to be challenging our bodies physically and also remembering our mantra for this week, I am resilient. So we will be challenging our bodies today, but just remember, listen to your body, always remembering that I am here as your guide not your drill sergeant. So at any time, you can change up the pose, skip it all together, add in something else. Listening to your body is the most important thing and remembering you are capable of so much more than you think you are. So we are ready to get moving. Go ahead and grab any props you might like to use. None are required for practice today, but I might incorporate some blocks. So feel free to grab those. Either way, come into a comfortable seated position, hands on knees or thighs, close your eyes. Let's take a couple breaths together to get really centered in our hearts, in our minds. Take an inhale all the way to the top, suck in as much air as you can get. And exhale, sigh it out. Let's do that again together. Inhale all the way to the top, sucking in as much air as you can get. Fill up your cup and exhale, sigh it out. <sighs> Taking a moment, letting the breath settle, letting the heart rate settle. Tapping into that ujjayi breath. So in through the nose and out through the nose. Hearing that oceanic breath at the back of the throat. Vinyasa is a very breath-based practice. So remembering that you can always come back to the breath and reset at any time. Taking a couple more breaths here in our seated shape. And when you're ready, slowly blink open the eyes. And we'll go ahead and get moving, meeting in tabletop position to start. So wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, moving through a few cat and cow poses. So inhale to arch the back, gaze forward. Exhale, tuck the tailbone round the spine, chin towards chest. Moving through cat and cow at your own breath. Moving as slow or as fast as feels natural for you. Just getting some wiggles through the spine. Waking body up, letting our bodies know it's time to get moving. One more cat and cow with your own breath. And then meeting back in tabletop position. From here, if you have blocks, you like to use them, you can place them under the hands. Step the right foot forward between the hands for a low lunge. So hands on blocks or hands on upper thigh, whatever feels comfortable. Sinking the hips down low to start. Right knee tracking over right toes. Just sinking the hips forward, maybe getting a stretch through that left hip flexor. Take an inhale here. On the exhale, moving towards half splits. So start to straighten through that right leg. Point the right toes straight up and sending the hips back. Inhale, lengthen the spine forward. And exhale, bow the torso over the right leg. Doesn't have to be a huge movement, especially to start in our class here. Thinking about tucking, tugging that right hip back, left hip forward. Keeping a tiny little micro bend in that extended leg. One more breath here, inhale. On the exhale, lifting back up to center and bending that right knee once more. We'll move forward and back a few times. So inhale, sink the hips forward, low lunge. 
Exhale, draw the hips back, straighten the right leg, and bow for half splits. Twice more on this side. Inhale, move forward, low lunge, bend that right knee. And exhale, sink the hips back, straighten the leg, and bow. Inhale, move forward, low lunge. Exhale, half splits. Once more on this side. Inhale, low lunge. And exhale, half splits. Waking up those legs. Inhale, bend through the right knee and just draw it back. And we'll switch sides. So, left leg forward, planted between the hands. First, sinking the hips low for low lunge, maybe getting that stretch through the front of the right hip flexor this time. Hands on blocks, or you can just do hands on thigh. Whatever works best for you. Taking a moment to really get into the stretch through the hips. Taking an inhale here. On the exhale, start to draw the hips back. Straighten through the left leg, left toes point up to the ceiling. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale, bow over the extended leg, half splits. Tug that left hip back, right hip forward, bowing the head. Taking an inhale. On the exhale, lifting back up. And we'll move back and forth a few times on this side. So send the hips forward, bend the left knee, low lunge. Send the hips back, half split, straighten the left leg, and bow forward. Moving back, low lunge, sink the hips low, open the chest. Exhale, half splits, straighten the leg and bow. Getting into the hamstrings. Once more each way. Inhale, low lunge. And exhale, half splits, bow. Beautiful, coming up to center. Draw the right left knee back to meet the right. If you've got blocks, place them out of the way. Meaning back in tabletop. Tuck the toes. Moving towards downward facing dog. Send the hips up and back. First downward facing dog of the day. So feel free, pedal out through the feet. Drawing one heel down towards the mat. And then the other. You can shake the head yes. And shake the head no. Maybe moving hips left to right. Any of these little micro movements help you feel settled in your downward facing dog. Pressing into all four corners of the hands, especially that pointer finger knuckle that tends to lift. Slowly settling into a still downward facing dog. Lengthening through the spine. Inhale here. On the exhale, bend through both knees, lift up on tippy toes, gaze forward at the hands, and just slowly start to tiptoe forward, taking as many steps as you need to meet in a standing forward fold at the top of the mat. Widen the feet out as wide as your yoga mat. Bending generously through the knees and just let the torso drape over the thighs. You can let the hands hang or grab opposite elbows. Maybe sway side to side for a nice rag doll. Letting gravity do the work here, drawing the torso down. Nice extension through the spine. Slowly let go of the elbows, plant the hands. Heel toe the feet in about hips width distance. Inhale, hands on the shins, lengthen the spine forward for halfway lift. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, sweep the arms up, lift the torso. Press the hands together overhead. And exhale.
exhale, arms by the sides, meeting in Tadasana Mountain Pose, our home base for vinyasa class. Take a moment, close the eyes. One hand to heart, one hand to belly. Tapping back into that breath. Feeling so resilient, like we can take on the world. Opening the eyes, arms by the sides, ready to get into our main flow. So we'll move nice and slow to start, and then we'll go through it again, a little more breath-based, a little more vinyasa style. So bring the left foot closer towards center. Lean all your weight into that left foot. On the inhale, reach the arms up and lift that right knee straight up. From here, moving towards figure four, chair pose. So we're gonna bend into the standing leg, cross the right ankle over the left knee, and sit the hips back. Just like chair pose, but with figure four legs. So more of a challenge in that left side. Inhale, biceps by the ears. Exhale, sink a little bit lower into that uncomfortable chair. One more, inhale, exhale. On the next inhale, unwinding, lift that right knee up. And exhale, moving towards warrior three. So kick that right foot straight back, flex through the right foot, maybe reaching arms straight back behind you. Hip points are facing towards the ground, right toes towards the ground. Very active, lifted leg. Inhale, lift the chest, use those back body muscles. On the exhale, lean back, landing in high lunge. Inhale, arms up by the ears, bending into both knees here. We're up on the ball of that right foot, hips facing forward. Inhale. On the exhale, warrior two. So opening up the hips, maybe a slightly longer stance here. Bend deeply into that left knee. Gaze forward over the fingertips. Inhale, reach up, straighten through that left leg. And exhale, warrior two. Twice more, inhale, reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Once more, inhale, extend, and exhale, bend. From here, side angle pose, reach that left arm forward, gather some length, and then lower left forearm to the thigh, reach that right arm up and over the right ear. Inhale, spinning the chest open. Exhale, sinking down into the pose. Side angle. One more, inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Now turning the chest to face the mat, lower that right hand down, lift up onto the ball of that right foot, and open twist towards the left. So we're in kind of a twisted lunge here. Inhale, reach that left arm up, on the exhale, look down at that left foot, scooch that left foot back a little bit, and turn the left toes out. Inhale, reaching up. On the exhale, slowly lower that right hip down, all the way down to the mat, and lower the left hand. Beautiful, nice hip stretch here. Let's do that again. Inhale, press up the way we came. Lifting the hips, lifting the left hand. Take an inhale. On the exhale, slow and controlled. Lowering that right hip down. And lower the left hand. Beautiful. Now press into that right foot. Lifting back up. We're in kind of a supported side plank. So you can stay here if this feels good. Or step that left foot back for a traditional side plank. Pressing out of the right shoulder, 
lifting that right side body. One breath, inhale, exhale, slowly lowering down to a seat. And we're facing the back of the mat, legs extended. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, slowly folding over the legs, grabbing onto the feet, maybe the ankles, and bow the head. Stay here for a moment in this juicy fold. Next, inhale, lifting back up, hands by the sides. We're gonna cross, once again, figure four, left ankle over right knee. So we're in a seated figure four, we're just gonna add a twist. So left hand plants behind you. Inhale, reach the right arm up. Exhale, right hand to left knee, and twist towards the left. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, twist towards the left. Beautiful, one more breath. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Unwind. Plant the right hand at the top of the mat. We're gonna lean over on our right hip. Plant that left foot. Again, coming up to supported side plank. So lifting back up the way we came. Now for this one, take a look at the screen here and watch me. We're doing some fancy maneuvers here. So I'm gonna lean all my weight into that left foot and I'm gonna tuck the right knee in and kick it through all the way to a seat. If that was a little confusing, don't worry, we'll do it again. So we're on our mat, the right leg's extended, left knee is bent, another twist. Left hand plants behind you, Inhale, right arm reach up and wraps around the left knee. Twist towards the left. One breath, inhale. On the exhale, unwind the arms. Plant both hands at the top of your mat. All the weight into that bent leg, so the left foot. We're gonna lift the hips up, tuck the foot in and kick it back. So left foot is forward, lower the right knee. Inhale, sweep the arms up, low lunge. Exhale, open the elbows wide, sink the hips forward. Inhale, lift back up. Slowly lower the hands, straighten through the right leg and sit hips to heel, bow forward. Hamstring stretch. Inhale, lifting back up. Plant the hands at the top of the mat and step back to downward facing dog. Beautiful, moving through a vinyasa of your choice here. So move forward, plank pose. Knees lifted or lowered. Draw the shoulders forward over the wrists. Bend the elbows straight back and lower through chaturanga. Widen the feet. Press the hands into the mat. Lift up baby cobra or up dog. Press into the hands and send the hips up and back downward facing dog. Taking a few moments to breathe here. Coming back to the breath. Coming back to our mantra, I am resilient. No matter how that flow went, no matter if it was perfect or you stumbled, you still kept going, you still trusted your body, and that's what makes you resilient. From here, lift up onto tippy toes, bend the knees, gaze forward, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up, press the palms together. And exhale, arms by the sides. Lovely. Let's do that same thing on the other side. So meeting in Tadasana. Bring the right foot a little bit closer to center. All the weight in that right foot. Inhale, reach the arms up. 
lift the left knee. On the exhale, coming to figure four chair pose. So bend the right knee, cross the left ankle over the right knee, and sit the hips back. Figure four chair. Inhale, lift biceps by ears. Exhale, sink a little lower. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Coming back up the way we came, lift that left knee. Exhale, kick it back, warrior three. Press that left heel all the way back like you could karate kick through a wall behind you. Very strong. Lifting the chest, using those back body muscles, left toes facing towards the mat. One inhale. Exhale, lean back, land in high lunge. Inhale, reach the arms by the ears. Exhale, bend into both knees. Hips facing forward. Inhale here. Exhale, open out, warrior two. Bend into that front knee. Slightly longer stance. Gaze over those right fingertips. Warrior two, very strong pose. Inhale, extend the right leg, reach up. Exhale, bend, warrior two. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. One more time, inhale, extend, reach up. And exhale, bend, warrior two. From here, side angle, reach forward, gather some length. Lower, forearm to thigh. Reach left arm up over left ear. Inhale, spin the chest open. Exhale, challenge the bend in that right knee. One more, inhale. On the exhale, spin the chest down to face the mat. Lower the left hand. Lift up onto the ball of the left foot and twist open towards the right. Our open twisted lunge. Inhale, reach the right arm up. On the exhale, squeegee that right foot back a little bit. Open the toes to face the right side of the mat. Take an inhale, lift the hips. On the exhale, slow and controlled. Lower that left hip down and lower right arm. Let's do that again, pressing into left hand and right foot. Lifting back up, lifting left side body, reach the right arm up, inhale, and exhale, lower back down. Beautiful. From here, once again, lifting back up. We're in our supported side plank, so you can either stay here or draw that right foot back for traditional side plank. Take an inhale, lift up out of that left shoulder. Exhale, lower down to a seat, facing the back of the mat. Legs outstretched. Take an inhale, reach up. And exhale, seated forward fold. Grabbing onto the ankles, maybe onto the feet. Bow the head forward. Taking a moment, slow the heart rate. Coming back to your purpose. Always coming back towards the breath. Inhale, slowly lifting back up. We're going back to that figure four. So cross right ankle above that left knee. Figure four legs. Right hand plants behind you. Inhale, lift the left arm up. Exhale, left hand to right knee. And twist towards the right. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist. One more, inhale to lengthen. And exhale to twist. Very nice, unwinding. Plant the left hand on the mat at the top. 
We're gonna roll over, plant that right foot down, lift the hips up, supported side plank. Here's our funky little tuck transition. So all the way into that right foot, lift the left foot, tuck the knee in, kick it through and forward, and sit. Ready for another twist. Right knee is bent, left leg is straight. Plant the right hand down. Inhale, reach left arm up. Exhale, wrap left arm around right knee and twist towards the right. Just one breath. Inhale. And exhale, unwind. Turn towards the front of the mat. Plant both hands. We're gonna lift up and send that left foot straight back. Right foot is forward, lower left knee. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Bend forward. Exhale, bending elbows wide. Low lunge. Inhale, reach back up. Lower the hands, straighten the right leg. And send hips to that left heel. And bow. Nice hamstring stretch. Inhale, lifting back up. Plant hands at top of the mat. Lift the left knee and step back to downward facing dog. From here, moving through your vinyasa of choice. Move forward, plank pose. Knees lifted or lowered. Draw shoulders forward. Bend elbows straight back. Lower through chaturanga. Inhale, lift to your back bend. Baby cobra or up dog. Exhale, send hips to heels for child's pose. Forehead to mat. Sink the hips towards the heels. You can have knees wide or together. Whatever feels comfortable in your body. Finding a bit of rest in this shape. It's a very challenging flow. So just know you made it through. We're gonna do it one more time. Now that it's a little more familiar. Moving a little faster, just to keep it breath-based, which is what vinyasa is all about. So take one more breath here, reset. I am resilient, don't forget. And slowly lifting back up to tabletop. Tuck the toes. Send the hips up and back to downward facing dog. Maybe pedal out the feet for a moment. Bend through both knees, lift up onto tippy toes, gaze forward. Step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift halfway, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up, press the palms together. And exhale, arms by the sides. Without thinking about it too hard, we're gonna go one more time each side, then we'll be ready for our cool down. So inhale, lift the arms, lift the right knee up. Exhale, figure four chair pose, sink it back. Inhale, lift the knee back up. Exhale, kick it back. Warrior three. Inhale here, stay here. Exhale, lean back, high lunge. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, open out, warrior two. One, inhale, extend, reach up. And exhale, bend, warrior two. Inhale, reach forward, side angle. Lower left arm, reach right arm overhead. Take an inhale here. Exhale, spin the chest down, plant the right hand, open twist towards the left. Inhale, lift. Exhale, squeegee, left foot back, toes turn out. Exhale, lower hip, lower down. Inhale, press, lift back up. Staying here or step back, plank to the side. One breath, inhale. Exhale, lower down to a seat, face the back of the mat. Inhale, reach up. 
Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift back up. Cross left ankle above right knee. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, twist to the left. One breath, inhale. Exhale, unwind. Right hand to the top of the mat. Lift back up, supported side plank. Here's our tricky transition. So inhale, lift the right side body. Exhale, tuck right knee in, kick forward, lower to a seat, left knee bent. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, twist. One breath, inhale. Exhale, unwind. Plant the hands, top of mat. Lift the right hip and send the right foot all the way back. Left foot forward, lower right knee. Inhale, sink it forward. Exhale, drive back. Straighten left leg. Crawling forward, plant the hands. Step back, downward facing dog. Move through your vinyasa plank. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One breath here, inhale. And exhale. Lift up onto tiptoes, bend the knees. Step or hop, top of mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, Tadasana. One more side, we got this. Inhale, lift arms, lift left knee. Exhale, figure four chair pose. Left ankle over right knee. Inhale, lift. Exhale, kick it back, warrior three. Take an inhale here. Exhale, lean back, land in high lunge. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, open out, warrior two. One extend, inhale, lift. Exhale, bend, warrior two. Inhale, reach, side angle, forearm to thigh. Reach, left arm up and over. Inhale here. Exhale, spin the chest down. Lower left hand to mat. Open twist. Inhale, lift the right arm. Exhale, squeegee right foot back. Toes towards the right. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, slow and controlled. Lower left hip, lower right arm. Inhale, press and lift. Supported side plank or step. True side plank. One breath, inhale. Exhale, lower to a seat, facing back of mat. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift all the way up. Figure four, cross right ankle above left knee. Inhale, lift arm up. Exhale, twist to the right. One breath, inhale. Exhale, unwind. Left hand plants at the top of the mat. Lean over, plant the right foot. Lift up, supported side plank. Wild transition, here we go. Pressing into the right foot. Tuck left knee in, kick it through. Lower to a seat. Left leg extended, right knee bent. Inhale, lift left arm up. Exhale, twist towards the right. One breath, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, unwind. Plant the hands at the top of the mat. Press into the right foot, lift the hips. Kick that left foot back. Right foot is forward. Lower left knee. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, open wide. Think low, low lunge. Inhale, lift up. Lower the hands, straighten the right leg. And bow, hamstring stretch. Inhale, crawl it forward. Plant the hands, step back. 
Downward facing dog, last vinyasa of the class. We got it. Move forward, plank pose. Knees lifted or lowered, chaturanga. Inhale, lift up, back bend. Exhale, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. And lower the knees, sink the hips back. Meeting back in our beloved child's pose. Lower the forehead to mat. Taking a few breaths here. Slowing the breath. Slowing the heart rate. Letting our body know that we are ready to cool down. We've created a lot of heat. And no matter if our flow was perfect, or if we stumbled or fell, the resilience is in keeping going, no matter what happens, finishing what we started and knowing that we are so strong for keeping the faith in our body. Walk both the hands over towards the right side of the mat. Maybe left hand on top of right. And sink the chest back down to child's pose with a little extra side bend. Getting a nice stretch through that left side body. Slowly walking the hands back towards center and over towards the left. Right hand on top of left, sink the chest down, feeling a nice stretch through the right side body. Walking back towards center and lifting up to tabletop position. Cross the ankles behind you and sit all the way back. Extend the legs out long and lay down on the back body. Get any hair clips out of the way. Hug the knees in towards the chest. Maybe make some circles with the knees. Circling in one direction and then in the other direction. Hug the knees back in, and then extend the legs out long, preparing for our final resting pose of Shavasana. So grab any props to make you more comfortable here. Reach the arms out by the sides, take up as much space as you need. Close the eyes. Staying here in Shavasana for as long as you'd like. Thank you for joining me in class today. Remembering our mantra throughout the rest of your day. You are so resilient and so much stronger than you give yourself credit for. So thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time.